All right, everyone, we are back in Battle for Westmoth, and we are playing the scenario Dark Sea. And we have to survive for another seven turns while the AI army moves its ominously large number of units across the map towards us. So, let's make a start. First of all, up here we have what I have nobly named the B Team. These folks are a very lovely little army of level one units. This Sorin Auger. Um, Anix, um, that kind of sounds rude, is almost at a level, has 18 experience out of 22, which is pretty impressive. So, um, we're going to bring him to safety and the others of these folks are going to go and do some other things. You are going to grab that tablet, see what it is. You're going to go over here. You're going to come down here, and really you, don't, you guys just can make nuisances of yourself. And that is the northern force, and the main force is down here. As you can see, everyone is busy fighting. Um, we have successfully lured out the brown leader. Now the trick will be to kill the brown leader without getting killed by these many chocobones who are around us. And that is going to be easier said than done, because they pack a big punch, especially at night. So what I'll really need is units that are resistant to... Units that are resistant to piercing. And I don't have hugely many of those. I do have wraiths. And they've got 50% resistance to blade impact and pierce. Um, but they also don't have very many hit points, so the big damage might not be... Might not be great. Um, and it's worth saying that although I have lured these units out, I haven't lured them very far out. So I guess the question is how worth it is it to sacrifice units in order to meet this um, this objective of, of killing the brown leader? Which isn't an objective actually. I'm sure I'll get money if I do it. Um, she's also. I see, is that her own? No, that's a different one. Okay, so... Hmm... What resistance does Anya have? Zero. <laughs> Great. I mean, the good thing about using her for this is that she can get away easily. The other thing I could do here is use Aveth and the Slayer. Um, because he can almost certainly kill her, and then he will probably die in return against these spectres. Oh, not spectres, sorry, chocobones. Hmm. Alright, well first of all, let's clear out our escape route. Because some units are not going to be useful in this situation. You're on three health, so you're unlikely to be very useful. You can't actually quite reach the backside here, so you could be used to take out this thing. Okay, good, that's gone. Now, Irelian, you are both slow and unwieldy, so I want you to run away. I'm going to try and use this loyal bowman to get the kill. Now if you then die, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world, I think. Of course, I could come out. The other choice I have is to come out and actually take on these these chock bones. Because everyone else is quite far away. Um, this one is going to prove a problem, but the others might be able to get. these. Then I have to worry about these level 1 drones, but they are honestly not the worst thing to have to worry about. So this seems like, even if I lose you, it will be a good trade to take out an enemy leader. So I'm going to go for it. No! Please, no! My fair lady of the storms, I, I did not have a choice! The fist! I, I, 
You betrayed me and my people. There is only one possible punishment for such a grave misdeed under my rule, and you are well aware what it is. No, I beg you. 43 pieces of gold, is that it? That's all I get. Okay. One hit on 70% with five attacks? Well, I guess. Fine. Whatever. Am I going to sacrifice my spearman? I feel like almost everyone else who matters, I can basically get them out of the way. So you run up back here. You need a little bit of health. Um, but there's no healer around. Not for you. So you just run back, and next turn you can get onto a house. Uh, run. You run. I don't think anyone can reach all the way across the bridge, but just in case they can, I'll defend with this demon on 70% on the wraith next door. I don't really want to recruit any more troops with red, I'm quite keen to just let my income build up, so maybe I need some some expendables though. What's gonna be good against chocobones? Maybe a poacher or two? Or a, ooh, a Saurian skirmisher. Yes, with that pierce damage. Actually chocobones I know they're cavalry, but They've still got 30% resistance against Pierce. What I really need is Arcane Fire or Impact, and that means thugs. I feel like I had some thugs earlier on in this scenario. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't recruit any. Oh yes, I recruited them with blue, that's it. Okay, so let's see what the damage is, and if... Abeth and the Slayer manages to somehow survive. Um, the most plausible scenario I could see for that is either they choose not to attack him because they've all got other priorities. Um, this one can't attack anyone else, um, but maybe he's not that tempting a target. Um, or else he manages to kill one of them and he gets an after maximum level. Because these guys are all level 2 and so that would happen. Well, let's see. They won't get a turn for a while, and anyway, I've got blue first. Blue, it seems, I mean, what are you even doing here? I mean, you've got to defend against against these undead who are going to very slowly come. Maybe I should, I should really let you take a good chunk of the defense of the river as well. So I'm going to move some of you over here, particularly the quick ones. You're quick as well. Alright, go squad. And oh, you're all quick, okay. Well, all six of you can come and help fight on the bridge. And you're all completely expendable. And everyone else here is gonna basically sit 
in this area and defend. against the people who are coming out of the water. Including Durban himself. Though Durban might want to head back after a while. Alright, let's see if Aberton makes it. Well, that guy didn't make it. Watch these flipping demolisher drones, they can demolish things. It'd be quite funny if they demolish the bridge. Maybe I should let one get that far. Not much to say at this point, the blue player is going in. I'm going to get hit by razor birds first, that's fine, they're pretty useless. And we've got pink. what the yellow defenders do that's going to interest me the most. That's not this player. I believe it's... they fight after everyone. Oh no, okay, here we go. Ethan. What a legend. That was close. Very close. Okay, here come the skeletons across the water. What's quite cool is that uh, two of those chocobones have um, managed to essentially remove almost all of their health by attacking that wraith. It's a shame it's not quite all, but I think they're each on one health now. And the wraith can simply fly away. There's pretty much nothing more to it than that. Um, now the only problem here is that Avethan cannot easily escape because he is not the fastest, so... And I can't, on this square, while this guy is on it, it's going to be blocked, and so that means Avethan has to go around by the water, uh, which is not his happy place. Let's do the B team first. Alright, B team, you check out this tablet. Into the fountain of courage, down the river of fear, a light in the darkness she patiently awaits. Alright. Not really sure about the signification of that. Is there a fountain around? Doesn't look like it. I guess it's just a little bit of poetry. Well, very nice if so. But you go up here and grab this village, and maybe you'll be needed to fight off these birds. You. Good, alright, you get some health. What am I going to 
do here. Since this particular turn, I'm not too worried about the units that are coming at me, and none of them are that fast. I'm actually going to come back out. How useless can you be? <clears throat> Alright, this guy just finally died. What about all these chocker bones on one health? So if you go on the tree, you'll be safe. And then you can come into the water. And fail to hit with all your attacks. And so I leave it up to a ghost. Who also fails to hit with all of its attacks. Brilliant. Anyone else who can actually do anything here? This Wraith. Four attacks at least. There we go. You're actually so slow, you can't even reach this guy. for one more go. Yeah, why not? We'll save this Wraith's life. Okay, you level ones, you move across and get ready to sacrifice your lives meaningfully. You loyal level ones, get ready to sacrifice your lives, hopefully relatively meaningfully. Everyone else, want to get to a healing spot and heal. These storm blades are pretty nasty. Now well, there's some yellow dogs down here. So I'm going to be careful with how I defend. Oh, I did slightly miscalculate, because this one rider... What about this chopper bone? Yeah, no, it's just this one northernmost rider can attack the spectre, but I think that's fine. And everyone else really is just going to leg it next turn. Alright, a blue player. I don't want to clog up the escape route too much, so these guys are going to sit tight for now, but they're going to just go... ...in the back here, ready to leap into action. These folks are going to stay where they are. I think all of them. We'll see what comes out of the water at us. One thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shift you guys around. There we go. Let's continue grabbing villages.
It's a beautiful map, I should say that much for it. Very diverse, very creative. There will definitely be enemies within range next turn. Okay, so the skeleton's going into the water, but they're uh, popping up next to me and not attacking, which probably means they are bricking it, insofar as skeletons can do such a thing. Oh, they're going to attack, after all. Well, I can swap you out, that's fine. Don't have any healers on that side, that's something that's slightly irritating. Right now, it's time to run away. At least with anyone who means anything. Like you. Anya can just run to a house and pop straight back out at the back of my ranks. It's tempting to do some more damage with her first, really. But no. I'm just going to have her fly back to the back wall. Have Ethan come up to here. You want to go one step further. You fly, maybe fly back as well. Let's see what we can do defensively here. You're going to be 70% on tough terrain as well. Put the demon there. And the thugs here. And you just go there. I think then no more than two people should be able to attack you. Probably both Chaos Raiders. And you can get out of dodge. Actually, you two, you just go there. You come back here. Everyone over here is fully healed, so we can start getting them into defensive positions. You in the center with your leadership ability is probably a strong play. And then maybe you just behind with protection, but not this turn, because this turn... What are you guys going to do? You're just going to hang around in the forest, aren't you? You go... North. There's probably a suicide mission for you, but that's fine. And if the Razor Birds want to distract themselves attacking up here against these two B team footpads, that's also fine. Um, then I will lose the entire B team except this guy, and that is 
100% okay with me. I've got a few, fair few units that can't attack at range here. We're not really the best strategy when fighting Chaos, but they are very powerful in melee, so it's something. Alright, blue. So Captain Relmanir, you come down here and give these guys a bit of support. You retreat to a village. Keep on holding on. Just pop you back a bit, don't want you to die. Then I'll put you there. And these are the blue units. Any of them want to advance, provide a juicy distraction. Um, maybe I will put Rort on the bridge just in case. I don't know what could happen to cause that to be necessary, but... Alright, yes. That's a Thunderbird, not a Razorbird. They look so similar. Yeah, if they're going to do arcane damage to my ghost, I don't think I can really hold out. Pink's very excited, it's the first time that he's made it into combat. Dogs are coming in. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh, well, I think so. Ow! One hit. I thought I had more thugs than this. My thug reserves are suddenly running low on the blue side. One of them's dead and the other one's run off. Across the bridge is looking distinctly unwelcoming. Okay, start off with the B team as usual. You, that is a Thunderbird, so it's, it's, it does fire damage if it hits. Don't 
Some of us would be best served by trying to kill it. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm dead either way, but... It's not an impossible fight to win if I take the initiative. Guessing the village might be more useful though. Or should I just lure it back towards my other troops? Because it'll only kill me and then take the village back. Still, that income trickle will be worth it. Okay, gonna swap you two around. There's a razor bird, there's a thunderbird, I'm gonna attack the razor bird. Oh you as usual, 70% defense does not mean you're invincible. Let's get you guys out of the way. Let's use at least a couple of turns for blue to try and bear the brunt of the defense. Where else can they get through? They can get through here. We've got Aurelian and a thief and Tarankin. Uh, not Tarankin. He's the swordmaster I had before. Other guy. You come and join the party. You are promoted from the B team to the A team if you survive this. defend this whole area, but... Well, actually, maybe I can. I'll put you there. It involves these blue troops taking action. Yeah, you run. Durvan, you run as well, because I do want you to get more thugs. In the meantime, see what we can do down here with a bit of leadership. We can't reach. Uh, I don't want to put you guys on sand. You're so good when you're not on sand. Okay, well in that case, I'm going to put a normal orc there with leadership. Same here. Thank you with a crossbowman. Then you stay where you are for defense purposes. Are you good there? Or you want to go back one? Yeah, they don't seem to be coming right the far way down, so. Oh, you're getting close. No, you're just a defender, aren't you?
and then you Some of you who are relatively tough, you like you two. I'm gonna go and stand here. Maybe I should defend this keep. Oh well, too late now. This is the choke point after all. And the turns roll on. These guys are doing a very good job of distracting the birds. Two demolisher drones coming in. Both the, one is one of them is a good way up. One of them probably won't reach me by the end of turns. The one on the right though depends where it goes. very much progress those birds. And otherwise white and orange are doing nothing interesting whatsoever at the moment. You sneaky skirmishers, I'll try and kill you next time. Okay. It's a very classic defensive scenario with nice choke points, and it is made more interesting by having things like the birds, the drones, the undead, which can get around. You've got the same 50% defense everywhere. This guy I could kill if my guys hit enough, but of course instead I can't believe that every time I've attacked with these guys, they've been hit by the melee attack. Seems implausible. Right. 
Right, let's just check the reach of the dogs. Okay, they can't get to Irelian. Not no matter if they could. She'd dispose of them in short order. And they can't go through the water. So the spot where I'm currently defending is a good spot to defend. But what I could do is recruit more units um, with red. I'm not going to do that. I'm instead going to recruit more units with Durvan because his money, I think, is more expendable. No, well, I'm going to get my wraiths over to this side. or well, eventually I am, because they're going to be the force that I need to deal with these razor birds. They should just be able to make mincemeat out of them. And Anya as well. I've got two wraiths, a spectre in the game. I didn't even recall one of my spectres. Okay, I think... Oh, there's still a thug. There's still a thug alive down here. What am I going to do with you? Try and kill this guy. There we go. No, I bet you're regretting attacking me, aren't you, purple? You are oh, you. I was going to make you attack this guy, but now you can't. So you attack this guy instead. What about the guy on the tree? You probably can't hit him. I don't want skirmishes running around my defences. You can hit alright. But you'll do more damage against this guy. Alright. You run back and get some healing. And the other two of you... Well, let's see what you can do first. Not much. Yay, that's more like it. You go there, you come over here. My, if these blue units don't survive very long, then my marshal could get shockaboned. Even if so, I don't think he'll die. I could be wrong about that. Alright, Durvan. You get. So up here I need, in order to defend, I want some sort of relatively flexible good defensive unit. Maybe more foot pads. They're not fantastic in the water though, as I learned. Thugs are just tough, so I'll just get more thugs. Alright, now they can do a bit of fighting. You are quite wounded. You just use your ranged attack. Good. Is that a village? Oh, it is a village! <laughs> I'm so used to these windmills not being villages in scenarios that I miss interpreted the situation entirely. Alright, so you can go back there and get some healing if you really want. Well, you, you probably don't need it, do you? As long as you don't get killed by a zombie. Good stuff. Don't really need anyone else here. Maybe this guy can go there. If they want to attack him, he'll do some damage back. You stay there, you stay there, you all stay where you are. And blue is good to go. And we'll move on, it'll be turn 18 next.
rip. Okay, Blue is going to get to deal with that demo drone, that's going to be fun. A grand job of distraction, and now there's only one member of B team left. And those birds are going to be coming for me on my flank. There you go. So many birds. I should make a defensive line with most of my red units, and the blue units can hold off the bridge, because they can do that, like I say, pretty much indefinitely. The birds are going to hit me before the turn limit. control of the southern bridge end, that's fine. Ah. Come on, hit it, it's in the water! Dang, nab it. good for bladed damage. Oh, we need to get rid of you. You're a nasty one. Lots more skeletons going into the water. Most people queuing to cross the bridge, though. Okay, first steps first, getting this death blade off my doorstep. You seem to be the optimal choice. Yep, yeah, there we go. Could send you out to deal with this runner drone, but that would be risky. There is another dog here. It would be nice to deal with the dogs and come out onto this keep, but could maybe defend here. Now we've got a Soothsayer. Who will be good for healing. But is now in a position which is very difficult to defend. for you. Let's see if I can get one with a thief. Very good. We've got two or three archers left for this. And now I need to defend against birds.
Oh, you can get across to that. Oh, you sneaky one. Yeah, okay. How do you... Oh, yeah, you can you can submerge. All right, that's how you get there. You can reach Irelian, but Irelian should be able to own you. You just come down a bit. And you come up a bit. Alright, now I think we're good. That's red. So now for blue. You get leadership. Happen, which is why try and bring you in to get the kill. You hmm. nice kill for you. Look, there are more skeletons in this area, so I do need to be careful. All right, you come over here. Quick thugs. Go that way. Slow thugs. Well, you're all pretty quick, but I need more thugs down here. Oh, my kingdom for a healer. Let's get an assassin just for giggles. Okay, now you come back down here. The rest of you stay where you are. Let's see what happens now. Oh, shoot. Uh, there was definitely more I planned to do there with these ones in the middle. They were they were actually the crucial ones, one might say. Uh, I think I'm going to lose a forest fairy. Once those chocobones get their way. You know when you do something stupid and instantly realise that you've done it. Okay, those guys are going to go and steal my villages. That is not cool. So I might have to send the wraiths up rounds to deal, rather than leaving them in the defensive line. Yeah, I was definitely going to move you. I really want those villages. <laughs> Send someone useless in and block the forest spirit. Please, make my day. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> 
Alright, that guy just stood there for a while and then got killed. More undead coming through over here. Including a demolition drone. For good measure. I'd really rather you didn't die, you're a bit good. No one has killed my soothsayer, amazingly. Fun fact of the day, soothsayer, I presume it's called soothsayer because it soothes, soothes you, because it heals you in this game. However, this is not the etymological origin of sooth. Um, that this sooth in soothsayer is about truth, sooth in Old English. Now you are informed. Okay, one of them could grab a village if it wanted to, but it's more likely to go after my troops. I'll send you up here too. You're more likely to survive fighting birds than anything else. Somewhere in here there's a chocker bone, gotta be careful with that. Just two razor birds here. You don't mind being in the on the sand because you're tough anyway but not tough enough to do any actual damage I'm gonna send you up this way as well Eventually, you can't quite do. Um, you're actually better in this situation because you need three hits. Well, three hits out of. Hmm. No, it's still more likely for you to get the kill. You need four hits out of five at fifty percent. You need three hits out of four. Ah, uh, still gonna go with you. No kill, but still with a terrible performance. You come around here. You come up here just in case. You also need some healing, so you go there. Gonna put you here. You should be able to hopefully defend a little bit. You need healing, run away. You've got a good amount of experience. Now I do want you to take out this dog, which you should be able to do very easily with taking very little damage. Having said that, you're awfully close. Yeah, no, that's too close. I need to get you out of there, because I do not want you to get attacked by the, demol the demolisher drone, especially since you might accidentally kill it, and then it's game over for you. Same with you, so... What are you going to do? Um, you're cool and all, but... Not the end of the world if I lose you. And I've got blue troops to defend with. Now I think... That's Red's turn.
My main priority here is keeping my income sound against these damn birds. <laughs> Okay, that's red. I think that's everything. I'm gonna put you there. Okay, blue is doing most of the work here, and most of the yellow troops. I need to redeploy these guys because they're not doing. They're not in the right place. Someone gonna go into the water here and no, there's too many zombies around. Well maybe maybe a a, a thug. Well you got it. Send you back to get health. Put you there, which is risky, but. Now, we've got to not forget these guys, it's actually quite important. Oh, nice! I wasn't expecting that. I don't want to lose the keep, so I'm just gonna. I'm gonna put you on this village, I guess. Um, don't really want to take it from red, but probably better than the alternative. Well, you can get all the way around. You guys stay here for defense against the dark arts. You are going to go there. Last turn, I'm going to recruit anything. Some ruffians. And you go in to be more useful, because I don't want us to keep you alive particularly. Alright, some casualties this turn, I suspect. form a defensive line for some reason. And that other demolisher drone is going to stay where it is. Orange
range is still trickling troops up towards me. blocking the access. Oh, I st still could get, that uh, Marshall still could get hit by a chocobone, and that might be nasty. If he hits with both hits, then my Marshall is dead. Yellow. Oh, Crandall the Marshal. My only significant death so far, I think, in this scenario. to survive one more assault, which is going to have a few birds involved in it. Dead. My good old soothsayer. What can you do, little thief? Um Maybe take this end position, prevent my one loyal spearman from dying. Ugh, oh, rubbish. Okay, well now you'll probably die as well. Do I have any more thieves? I'm sure there's another loyal one. I did have another loyal one somewhere. Oh yeah, I got instantly killed by someone. Great. Tempting. Okay, you can come and help down here. Come into the water and fight. 
these guys. It's mostly level one units at this point. Good for you. Gonna need some support. There. Ah, oh, really in. I was just gonna say every time, but no, not every time. Only when it's useful or necessary. Now. damage than I should have taken. slow, you're too slow, you're pretty much too slow, okay, so it's really these guys up here that I'm worried about. You're not too slow for that, so okay, try and guard these villages. Alright, I think that's all I can really do with black, with with um, with red for now. Am I going to lose in an embarrassing way by losing an essential part of my army here? Probably, but who knows. You've got good defense here, you can go here and poison this bowman. Or do I need you in the middle? No, I think here is also important. Oh, it would be lovely to get a couple of hits in. Just the one, but still alive. Okay, some unit has to waste their time attacking him. Could lose Rogar the Swordsmaster here, but I'm not going to because I'm going to drop a thug. Oh yeah, you I'm just going to sit there with. Same with you I think, yeah you're just sitters. You're pretty speedy so you can go there. Help defend and everyone else. The big task here is to deal with this demolisher drone. Need your experience for this. You're not quite fast enough, so. Level zero unit with experience. So much damage. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. Who are you?
Okay, I'm not going to kill this thing. Annoyingly. I'm going to park you here to block off this highwayman. So you can't really do anything much now. You can run away. Just in case I ever use these troops again, you're probably one of the ones I'd most like to have alive. Go there. You come up here. Okay, there we go. Uh, are you going to attack the bird? You might as well. It doesn't do much damage. Just kill it. Okay, fingers very much crossed for the final turn. I think all players, even the useless white player, are finally have to reach from that. Okay, you're dead. You're probably dead too. Not yet. Oh, my experienced ghost. Now oh, you do get a village just at the end of the battle. Not quick enough for much else, though. The more demo drone in the deep water. Worried what that Death Knight will choose to do. There goes my loyal thief. minutes late in the campaign. I don't need to keep all my level 1 loyals alive. Indeed, keeping loyals alive in general seems to be, given that I just lost a level 3 loyal. Gah! Double gah! to yellow's movement. Things are looking alright. Death Knight hasn't done anything yet though. Is it going to go for Kron or Ogea? <laughs> Ow. But I think that's it for damage. The situation is not as favourable as I wished. We ought to take the fight closer to the Iron Council Citadel if we want to keep that attention away from Alinea. But that is a victory, and I get 202 bonus gold with Anya, and 55 with the other player who seems to not have a name. Okay, let's look at our statistics. Um, lots of losses, so we got a few advance. No advancements, actually, strictly speaking. Okay, these are the blue. Um, so we lost a lot of thugs, orcish archers, and orcish grunt. Well, that's predictable. Um, what I'd really like to see is who we lost. 
in terms of the other player, but that does not seem to be available to us, which is a shame. Oh well. Um, all I do know is that we lost a few level 1 loyals. Um, we've still got a bowman over here, a spearman over here, and I think that's it. Um, my, uh, they don't level into the most exciting things, but at least they do add to my units. And I lost Krendil, the loyal marshal, and that's probably the most major loss. Of possibly the most major loss of the campaign so far, except for the time that I lost my chide and then saved scum to keep her alive. Where's she now? She's up here. Good on you, you're still alive. Honest. Next turn I would have been able to kill you, so it's a shame I didn't get an extra turn to do the boom thing, which is quite fun. Um, yep, not all that clean towards the end, but I will take it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please interact in some way or other to show your appreciation, should you wish to do so. And that's it from me for tonight.